Ryan Christofferson, Nebraska 24-7, go ahead. Hey, Matt, um, where, where have you been uh, training at and uh, what, what's sort of your, your mindset heading in tomorrow? I mean, what, what, what goals do you have about, you know, what you want to show tomorrow? Um, I was out in New Jersey at the Test Football Academy. And then tomorrow, um, I just really want to be able to, I just want, I'm, I'm going to prove that uh, I'm an athletic type of body and um, I can move my body really well. Sam McEwen, Omaha World Herald. Hey Matt, what, what, do you, what have you changed about your body composition since the end of last season? What have you been working on and what positions have teams given you feedback that they're looking at you for? Um, the main thing is uh, I just wanted to get a more of a lean body, um, kind of get a stronger back, a stronger core. And so those are two really uh, emphasized uh, parts of my workout. And then um, I'm just going to be kind of a – versatile uh interior guy that can play tackle uh wherever they need me have, have they have they uh center is that an option for you um uh, anywhere on the field is uh because i mean i just i proved this uh last season that i'm capable of playing it and i'm consistent with my snaps and so um i'm just uh i'm ready to play whatever position they want me at thank you thank you journal star parker gabriel Hey, Matt, is, is there a common theme, like when, when you're talking with teams, like what are the main things that they're, that they've asked you about or does it, does it run the gamut? I mean, are they asking you about moving positions during the season or, um, you know, your ability to sort of stay on the field through your career? I'm just curious sort of what the, the feedback you've gotten generally from, from the NFL folks. Um, really the, the main thing is just kind of a get to know me, what my personality is like, um, and then just kind of a quick quiz on, do I know the game of football? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's been pretty standard, kind of more basic stuff just to kind of see who I am and see if I know or have a decent amount of football knowledge. Steve Sipple, Journal Star. Hi, Matt. Uh, Tony Tuioti was telling me the other day how important the nutrition program is to his linemen. Um, in what ways was it important to you, especially when you got here, becoming the ha growing into that type of body you needed to compete in the Big Ten? Um, I mean, nutrition is a huge factor. I mean, you can have the perfect workout, but if you eat wrong, it doesn't matter. Um, so if you, uh, when you learn what you're putting into your body and what needs to be put into your body, um, if you're doing the correct things off the field and in the weight room. Uh, you're going to see exponential growth and your game and your ability to play the game at a high level is going to increase as you uh, learn to eat correctly. Specifically, was there anything in particular you looked forward to on that training table? Um, I mean, I'm a simple guy. Um, I like really my go to's were like chicken breast, spinach um, and then whatever kind of simple carb they had laid out. Um, I mean, for the most part, it was just kind of trying to eat as uh, clean as possible and uh, just kind of find a way to make it a little tasty with adding like some type of seasoning or sauce over it. All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, Mitch Sherman, The Athletic. Hey, Matt. Um, kind of tough to tell for sure on this little screen, but it appears that maybe you did succeed in uh, – getting more lean um is what what's is there any measure measurement for you that you that you can share in uh, how you've changed your body over these past three months um yeah so um from the season i dropped down um i was playing at like 325 and then uh through training in that i dropped to about 312 315 and kind of leaned out a little bit and um i think through the measurements in that i i lost about five around five pounds of fat and gained about 10 pounds of muscle. Um, so it's kind of, it's been a good process so far. How does that, you know, when you're in a drill, when you're doing something physical, um, how much of a difference can you feel that that makes for you? Uh, it, it feels good. I mean, obviously the more uh, correct weight and lean body mass you put on, uh, the easier it is to control your body and move it the way you want it to move. And so it's, um, it's just everything's felt a lot smoother. Great, thanks.
Uh, Hale Barsity, Derek Peterson. Yeah, Matt, I just have to ask first, you cut your hair. Why did you cut your hair? Uh, so I cut my hair. It was kind of, I just did it through college. Um, it was always my plan is I was going to grow it out through college because, I mean, when you're in college, it's kind of whatever. But at the end of it, my plan was always to uh, donate it. So I cut it, donated it to uh, Wigs for Kids. And um, just now is my new haircut. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Um, actual question for you. In, in what ways did Greg Austin help your game? Uh, he just helped me understand um, kind of – to play more relaxed, understanding that let it come to you. Um, don't try and force things to happen, and not always. You don't always need to be the aggressor, or the attacker. You can. You got to have a little patience to your game, and kind of let the uh, play develop. Thank you, uh, Sean Callahan, Husker Online. Hey, Matt, uh, spring practice at Nebraska starts next week. And as you kind of look at the direction of the offensive line here in the program after guys like you and Brendan have moved on, how promising is it when you see some young guys like Turner Corcoran and um, just the development guys like Bryce had last year when you look at the big picture of where the line is heading at Nebraska? I think the line's heading uh, in the correct direction. I think me and Hymas kind of helped. Uh, lead them to the way that it takes to be a, a good old line with a good unit. And um, I'm excited to see Turner and Bryce, uh, all the, and those older guys, Sichterman, Vando, they've all kind of stepped up in that leadership role, and which is fantastic because, uh, I mean, that's the way the game goes. When someone steps out, uh, the next guy has to step in and be ready to roll. And um, just being here a short little bit, uh, those guys have really stepped up and embraced the – the leadership role that needed to be filled. Take two more for Matt. Uh, Brian Christofferson. Hey, Matt, there's so many guys in that Husker line room. Do you have a wild card that people aren't talking about as much that they maybe should keep an eye on? Uh, and uh, right now, I mean, it's not, it's a, they're really talking about all the right guys. Uh, I, I th like that room is always uh, it's full of good players, good guys that can develop and uh, a lot of guys that have talent that um, it just comes down to that one final thing clicking with them. And uh, it'll be interesting to see. I can't I, I don't think there's a true sleeper because, I mean, for the most part, it seems like almost every old lineman has been talked about. So it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to say there's a sleeper in there. Personally, I was going to ask you also, do you get inspiration from guys like stare up uh brent Qualley, uh jeremiah searles type guys who have come through the program and they didn't necessarily get a combine invite some of them but they they impressed at pro day and they they battled their way on the rosters do you look at their stories or do you just kind of worry about your own thing um yeah i mean i always look uh like whenever those other guys when they came back i'd always kind of find a way to kind of stop and talk with them kind of pick their brain and i mean I think their story is going to be extremely similar to mine. Uh, I'm obviously, I'm not going to be walking down the red carpet. I'm going to be kind of trying to sneak in the back door. And I'm fine with that. I'm proud of that. I've always prided myself on being a hard worker, being tough, finding a way to overcome whatever's thrown in front of me and seeing other guys do it as well. I mean, it's, it's possible. You can do it. You can make a career and uh, have a really good career because of it. Thank you. And last one for Matt. We'll go to Evan Bland, Omaha World Herald. Hey, Matt, I was just following up, too, on uh, some of those young guys on the O-line here this spring. I mean, you, you were a guy who played early on the line uh, as a young guy uh, and kind of grew into it. What, what does it take physically and mentally uh, to, to play on the line in the Big Ten at such a young age? What, what kind of challenges do these young guys have coming up for them? Uh, I mean, you just got to gotta be willing to take a hit. Sometimes you got to be willing to throw your body. Um, you got to be tough. And you got to understand that you might get beat. And is that one time getting beat going to be a lesson that you learn? Or is it going to be, a, I got beat twice, three times, four times? You got to be able to be mentally tough enough and strong enough that, OK, you got me once. I'm going to get you for the next five. Um, and I think those guys have done a really great job of kind of learning and seeing the what it takes to be a, a, a good old lineman. Um, and they've really showed um, kind of improvements throughout the year when I was watching them grow uh, just this last season.
All right. Thank you, Matt. And uh, we'll be back with Brandon Hymas in just a minute.